Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's try to understand one concern which is uh, radial symmetry sometimes don't work on the models. Uh, for example, right now, I have uh, this uh, sphere, okay, and uh, I have some sub tools like gear and uh, the cylinder. So when I go to this uh, gear model and then uh, go for the radial symmetry and uh, the radial symmetry is not really working on the gear. Uh, so how do you fix this? So you should be able to see the radial symmetry is uh, working to the world origin or the, the main object's center. So uh, to fix that, you can go to the transform menu. So go to that menu there and we have an option in this particular area called local symmetry. So enable that and that brings up the symmetry for that particular model. So here I need to check uh, the right symmetry and you should be able to see I could model um, or modify this in the radial symmetry here. Uh, let me check with this model here again uh, when I enable active symmetry okay uh, and then increase the radial symmetry option then you should be able to see I could get the radial symmetry here so here it's working for Y and then there it's working for a Z symmetry there okay so that's how you can actually fix this problem uh, the other issues related to the pivot points uh, how do I set a pivot point here so for that I'll be taking a different scene so let me um, take the face model here so we have this option called set pivot so set pivot is uh, uh, generally works for the visible points so if you could read this the set pivot point button enables you to define center points which is basically the pivot point when pressed while mesh is partially visible this button determines the geographic center of the visible portion and sets the center of the object to this uh, new location so what does that mean so let's say if i have to put the pivot point at the tip of the nose then what i have to do is i have to just make this particular face visible here and then you uh, put the set pivot button there now uh, one thing happens that the object uh, transforms so that um, the, the the center point of that model okay um, the the pivot point is in center right so the pivot point has not moved to this point but this point moved to the pivot point uh, and then if you could able to see the pivot point is located at the tip of the nose there however once uh, your work is done i mean it is basically used to do all the transformations however when the work is done you can just hit clear pivot point and then uh, things will be fixed back so that is something really important when you're re transforming objects okay uh, i mean this happens when let's say when i'm sculpting this sometimes uh, the center point is not really correct so uh, it is slightly left or right to the object that is the time where you need to change the pivot point especially when you're doing symmetry model okay so set pivot and clear pivot is that now we have uh, the visible symmetry um, let me pick this uh, sphere and then um, i'll switch off the symmetry and then bring on this uh, part of the model okay so I will just press X and you should be able to see the symmetry is working uh, locally for the visible object here. Okay, so you should be able to see the second red point uh, here. So I'm just switching off the poly frame and you should be able to see the symmetry is here. You should be able to see that. But when I say visible symmetry, that means it will become symmetry to the visible points. So it will consider again the geometric uh, center. And then it will go for the symmetry accordingly so that is visible symmetry for you so you can use this uh, few options to explore the possibilities of uh, symmetry in terms of visibility or setting your own pivots or local symmetry etc